everybody, what's going on? And welcome back to a brand new episode of our Pixmon Survival. Let's put where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Come back here. Where are you going? Anyways, uh, welcome back to a brand new episode, everybody. And uh, I want to kick this one off saying real quick that if you guys want a fan statue, make sure you leave a comment down below with your favorite Pokemon, and I will be sure to uh, make sure you uh, get a chance to get that for the next episode. Oh, and that I think today. I want to do some general training, exploring, catching, a little bit of everything today. Uh, we got our friend Riolu, who I'm going to try to leave outside of uh, his ball for the most part today. Uh, just because I want to get his happiness build up. And then last time I checked in Pixmon, if you leave a Pokemon outside of their ball, uh, their happiness goes up, um, I think, every now and then. So anyways, I'm going to try to do that because, you know, obviously Riolu evolves from happiness. And other than that, I guess we can jump into the things. Uh, make sure you guys, if you are excited for this episode and you enjoy the series overall, and you want to help me out, make sure you leave a like down below. Helps out a bunch with this series and my channel overall. And I think what I want to do, I think I'm going to go that way. Um, but Riolu can follow us. Actually, I might go stock up on Pokeballs first. Um, we're kind of a bit low. Is he keeping up? Yeah, he's keeping up. Wow, look at him go. Come on, Riolu. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Yeah, look at him. He's a cool little... Look at him. He's just a little ninja dog. Anyways, uh, let's go over here to the Mart. We'll buy some uh, Pokeballs and stuff. And I know we need to stock up on a few things. Uh, I don't think we have any Pokeballs at this point, so I'm probably going to be at like 10. How much is that going to be? 2,000? Alright, we'll get 10. We don't get any Premier Balls, sadly. Or maybe we did. I think we actually did get one. Uh, let's get a few Great Balls. Let's get like... Let's get five for right now. We no Ultra Balls are on sale. We can get a Luxury Ball, but I'm not really all that interested in that. That looks like all we can do. I'm going to sell this mail. I, I did pick up a few uh, items. I was out exploring. Um, I don't need those. And I think that's going to be it. There's real. Where are you going, buddy? Come over here. And he's just a cool little guy. Anyways, uh, I think we can head off. I'm trying to think like where to go. I'm kind of thinking just going to Extreme Hills. And just seeing if we can find something. I'd like to catch a Charmander, just so we have one. Um, Savannah would be cool, so we can get a Vulpix, too, because we have that Ninetales, but I would like to get a Vulpix. Um, but I don't know how that's going to turn out. Actually, you know what? If, uh, <laughs> if you guys know the dilemma from a few episodes ago of where I was trying to find a Mesa and everything, and I've been searching off-screen for the past like few days, and I have not been able to find anything. Like If you guys look, I have not been able to find anything, and I've gone, like, far north. I've done a lot, and I found a few good other things. I found uh, Articuno Shrine, which I think it marks somewhere in the map as well. Uh, yeah, here's Articuno Shrine. Like, I found a lot, and I've gone to a lot of places, and I finally gave up after searching for all of it, and I went to a, I guess, like a, a chunk finder type thing on, uh, on the webs, and I put in the world seed. And I finally found the biome. You wanna know where? Way the heck somewhere over here. I might be missing it at this point. Where is it? Hold on. Let's go. Oh, here it is. Look at this. Okay, so it's right here, right? Look how far away this is. Are you kidding me? That's how far I would have had to travel to find it. It's way the heck over here. That is ridiculous. So we do have a Mesa now. I have not really been there necessarily to like train, catch anything. I literally went there and I uh, pretty much loaded in the trunks and went back home. <laughs> that was about that. I didn't really do much else. Uh, Rayla's kind of following us around a little dangerous here on those cliffs. Uh, let's see if we can find a few people going to battle. I'd like to find a few that we can actually like fight and stuff. Um, maybe we should head back to the flat area on this. I'm thinking maybe. Um, yeah, <laughs> so now we do have a Mesa. I might actually go there this episode. Maybe in a little bit we'll go there. We'll uh, go see if we can get some like Bagons and Beldum. See what we can find. And for sure be using that to our advantage. Because it's really nice we have a Mesa and a Red Desert and all that stuff now. Uh, I did get a Shadow Claw, by the way, for the TM. So it's really nice. I found a few villages and stuff. So I had like gold ingots and a iron pick. So I took them anyways. Just so, you know, nice, easy little... Uh, you know, tools in case we ever break our current one, which I haven't done too much of mining, really. I probably should, but I haven't done much. Uh, dang, look at all the Pokemon over there. Um, I would like to find something cool to fight at first. 
They're just starly. It's not really all that cool. We are okay. I was just like, where's Riolo? Um, <laughs> let's see. Okay, we have Starly. Yeah, I, I hear you, Starly. I hear you. You don't gotta say your name. Maybe there's a trainer. If anything, we'll fight a trainer. I'm okay with fighting a trainer because we just spend all that money. Level 27. All right, you come here. We're gonna use. I know what. Let's use Riolo. We'll at least start with Riolo, and if it gets into trouble, we'll go to someone else. Coughing. Coughing. Level 28, okay. Uh, let's go with Reversal, maybe. Okay, that did a lot of damage. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do those. Uh, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go to Hypno. Hypno's just gonna use Psybeam, and we're gonna be done with this coughing. Yep, there he goes. Bye-bye. R-Chops. Uh, you're like the fossil thing, if I know correct. Uh, I'm just gonna do Psybeam. Might as well, yeah. Yeah, looks like it. We're just gonna go side beam again. All right, that's about all I know of that one. All right, cool. Uh, but I, I really want to go to the mesa, but I kind of want to hold off. But I think we might just go to the mesa, man. It might just happen. I don't. Know, I'll grab the heal real quick, and then maybe we'll go. I'm trying to think. If we should. I, I really want to because I haven't really explored it. Like I kind of just went there, loading the trunks and left. Um. But at the same time, it did take it like, yeah, I, I can't explain how long I like I was searching, trying to get chunks to load, and for how long I was trying to like find the mesa, and I finally gave up, and I went to the trunk thing online to try to find something, and even on there, like it took me a while to like scroll around and try to find where the chunks were, that would have a mesa. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous. Um, let's see, there's Electabuzz here. Hmm. I think I have, you know what? Let's let's head there. This floating thing of dirt over there says we should go. So I think we're gonna go to the mesa. Ooh, Pokeball. How did I miss this one? How did I miss that? Ultra Ball too. Oh my god, how have I missed that? I've been over here. How many times that I've missed that? What the heck, dude? We got a bunch of apricorns and stuff again. Alright, I think we'll go there. We'll we'll go to the mesa. That's what we'll do. We'll go to the mesa. But yeah, Articuto Shrine as well. So we do have to uh, defeat a couple bosses, I suppose. Um, I'm trying to think where we should go. Probably just spawn like right here, yeah. Might as well. Just go right there. Right on top. And here are the trunk loads. Oh my god, this is so nice being able to see these weird colored biomes. Oh my god, did we just really pick up one of the um, things? Alright, what are we going to get? I didn't even realize this was here. Alright, what do we get in? Overheat! Oh my god, sweet! Alright, we for sure have a move for Infernape or maybe even a Ninetales. I would like to get a shiny Ninetales. Ninetales itself would be cool. Oh my god, dude, this is exactly why I wanted a Mesa. Look at this. Like, this is exactly why I wanted to find a Mesa slash like Red Desert and stuff. Like, this is. Like, this is just awesome spawns. Look, a Laron. Like, are you kidding me? That's freaking awesome. Laron's pretty legit. Aggron is amazing. What level are you, actually? I might fight you. What level are you? 49. Yeah, it's a downfall of us being here, but at the same time, we do, uh, we're starting to get to that point where, like, we do need to find some higher levels. I got this Dugtree. I think I'm going to fight him real quick. Uh, you're really low level, but we still need to, uh, kind of essentially just fight you, get, the, get that experience. Um, I know I'm looking for Bagon, essentially. That's all I'm looking for, is I'm looking for a Bagon. Um, but, uh, you know, whatever else we could find here. I mean, I know, I mean, it's a very big Mesa. Like, if you look, it's, it's actually really big. So, it did, uh, pretty much evade us. Ooh, there's, like, a, a village over here. We have to go check that one out. Um, it did evade us for quite a while, but, uh, we did eventually find the Mesa. Kind of. I'll, uh, <laughs> kind of. I'll put an asterisk there. Um, but hey, that's, uh, that's just... Kind of how the world spawn came and then just how it happened. A little ridiculous, but hey, that's fine, right? Um, let's see what else we can find. Ah, there's got to be a few things up top, correct? Some Rhyhorns. Rhyhorns are a good, easy training. Aaron's up here, level 21. What level is this? Is this Rhyhorn? Rhyhorn's level 20? Yeah, all right. All right. I'm going to give uh, you a good thing. Let's go for a reversal. 
And dad, it, only, it didn't even do half, man. That's ridiculous. I was hoping it would have done at least half. Stop it. <laughs> I hate that. I hate the turn moves. They're so annoying. Or the uh, the multi-attack moves. Even though they're not even that strong, they're just annoying. What do I hear? Oh, it was a car. I was like, what the heck is that? Is this something in the game? Is that a Pokeball? Yeah, it is. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And a sport ball. Interesting. I forget what those are. They're not the... They're not like the super OP ones, are they? No, those are the um, park balls. Park balls are like essentially a master ball. Um, what else? There's got to be like a Bagon. Come on, I just want to find a Bagon. Even if I can't catch him. Because I don't have much. Ha, catch him, Ash, catch him. I knew it was... Uh, <laughs> bad puns. Bad puns for days. Bad jokes for days. I got them all, guys. You should know this by now. Alright, there's... Is that Cubone? That is Cubone. Nice. Alright, there has got to be... Here's a Geodude. Geodude. It's now... Is this sunrise? It looks like... No, it's sunset. Never mind. That's, that's the moon. That is a da moon. Alright, so now it's going to become nighttime, which is just fantastic. I feel like the day goes by so fast in Minecraft. Alright, uh, there has got to be, hmm, got another Cubone, is there a Marowak? Is that a Marowak? It looks more like a Marowak. Dang, Marowak's here? Um, I didn't realize that those spawned, I thought it was only Cubones that spawned, I didn't realize Marowaks did. Uh, alright, come on, there's gotta be a Bagon, dude. Are they, they're not a day only spawn, are they? Like, I know they're, oh my god, Tyranitar. Oh my god. Dude, that's just, oh. And this is, literally, I know you can get them extreme hills, but this is, again, why I love Mesa Red Desert. Like, it's just, the, like, it's literally all of the strongest Pokemon you can find. Is that one of the gem things? Is that one of the gem things, I think? I think it is. I'm going to check that out first before I head down to where that Tyrant Art is, which will probably disappear because I go over here. But, uh, whatever. I mean, <clears throat> It's not as if we can probably catch it, unless it's like level 40, which we possibly could catch him. Oh, look, a bunch of Beldums. Ooh, I may have to try for that as well. No, it's actually a shrine. This is a shrine. Oh my god, I have to remember this is here. So this is a, the Moltres Shrine. I didn't realize it spawned in Mesa too. I thought that was only like Savannah. Level 15? What level are you guys? 7, 10. Alright, I'm going to try for the 15, I suppose. See if I can catch this one first. I'm gonna throw out Rio though, I think. Rio is gonna be my go-to for this episode. Even though he's really actually low in health. I'll use a reversal. He survives, takedown, avoided. Now we're gonna go for let's go for a Pokeball. I know Beldum's really hard to catch though. Like Yeah. Oh boy. Um bag, let's go for Let's go for a great ball. Kinda matches their color, which is really cool. It's always cool to kinda try to do that. And, no, dude, you almost had him. Almost, almost, almost. Let's go for one more. I don't want to use an Ultra Ball on a Beldum. I'd really rather hold off. Dude, no. All right, we'll try. Uh, we'll try one more Pokeball because I think this Beldum is about to faint. And anyways, we have the lower level ones over there. It'll probably be easier to catch anyways. All right, and we're going to put out Infernape because now we just Ross Riolo. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll just faint them. Alright, where's the other ones at? They're, like, right over here. They're somewhere. They probably flew off. Oh, no, 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 here they are. Alright, you're the level 7, so you're the level 10, right? Yes. So we're gonna put out Hypno, I think, this time. Come on. And we're gonna do Hypnosis. Oh, he voided. Come on, now. We can go to sleep, right? Yeah, okay. And then we're going to go for a side beam. Oh, that's very close. I didn't realize how much damage that would do. All right, and then we're going to go for that great ball, I think. I think we're going to go for that great ball. Oh, my God, that was really quick. He broke free. <laughs> Please stay in the ball. Just stay in the ball, buddy. One shake, two shake. Okay, that was about that. Okay, we're going to go for Pokeball. We're going to try a Pokeball this time. That's that's about that, and he fainted as well. All right. 
Uh, where's that level seven one at? This is our last hope for that build group that spawned. It's a Geodude. Another Larvitar. You have one of you. Here's a level seven. All right, so we're going to have to do what? Uh, hypnosis. And then what? Maybe a headbutt? He might survive it? I don't know, honestly. I'm going to try for a great ball real quick. We're just using all of our great balls right away. Not the best strategy. I'm going to try for a headbutt. It might faint him. Yep, it faints him. I figured it would have been weak because he's steel. So I figured he would have resisted. But too low a level at that point. Too low of a level, which is understandable. But I didn't know if we would get some luck out of it. Another sand slash. All right, I think... So now I know that's there. This Golurk looks pretty cool, that's for sure. Shiny one I know looks pretty, pretty cool as well. Uh, where was that thing over here, I believe? Was where the T-Tar was, yeah. I believe it was. Here's a Sand Slash again. I, I really would like to see Sand Slash's like, updated model. It would probably look really cool if it was like actually updated and had like a really nice, new, clean model. Probably would look really good. Uh, I think that T-Tar's gone, which is pretty much what I call this is going to happen because that whole Pixmon distance of things staying spawned and loaded and all that. Um, no Bagon, though, which I'm surprised about. I'm surprised there's no Bagon. I really want a Salivance. At the very least, I can, you know, start off, you know, get get a get a Bagon and just slowly train it because it's going to take forever. But, you know, it's worth it because it's a Salamence. And, yeah. Here's a Pokeball, though. What do we got for a loot? Anything good? Anything good? No. Noth nothing good. Nothing good on that one. That was uh, not good at all. It was terrible. What's up there? What is that? What is that? Is that a Braviary? What the heck is that? I can't tell what that is. I literally can't. I feel like I'm just being stupid right now but i can't tell what that is why can't i come on star after there we go i may have been oh this is a slugma okay i was like what the heck is that i can't even tell what pokemon that is uh let's see what's over here Ooh, lunatone lunatone's over here all right all right it's not bad it's not bad at all uh, looks like we got some, like, Bulldors, Gravelers, a bunch of Sandshrews, a bunch of Larvitars. Really want to find that big on. I, maybe they are a day-only spawn, because I'm not seeing any. And usually Bagons are pretty, uh, not that hard to come across, really. Maybe they are a day-only. I don't know. I didn't realize that. Oh, well. Well, uh, it's probably going to be daytime soon. I would, yeah, it's, yeah, not too far off. Probably uh, get into a battle before the episode ends, more than likely, unless one spawns, because maybe they're not. I, at this point, I feel like they are day only. Um, but hey, that's fine. Uh, let's see, anything over here? I think we can at least battle for a little bit. Got some cargos. I can at least train up maybe Swampert. What level are you? Thirty, fifty-seven. Oh my god. Uh, a level six. Jeez, that level gap right there. <laughs> 57 at level six. Oh my god. Get that, uh, hound hour over there. Everybody knows it's like a little buggy me today. Um, let's see here. Let's see. You got this birch forest over here. Oh my god. That was a little bit of a fall there. Uh, let's see what is over here possibly. I uh, got this Golurk. We can battle him. Is that what? No, I think this is Gallet. Is this Gallet? I think. I feel like I'm not familiar with this Pokemon. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Didn't really play much Gen Five. Yeah, cause it's it's Gen Five Pokemon. Cause they don't have Gen Six in Pixmon just yet. Very soon though. Once I'm sure Sun and Moon release and Gen Seven come out, I believe. Then they will start doing Gen 6. I believe the ruling is on that. They don't like to have whatever current generation is out. They hold off until the next one is out. And now it's be becoming uh, daytime. Look at this Pupitar over here. What level are you? We can fight you real quick. 52. What the heck, man? Why can't you be like level 30? Maybe even 40. I'll let you do 42. I'll still battle you then, maybe. 
Um. Hmm. 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 Just gotta be like a. Is that a drowsy? It's a drowsy. A little bit of like a, a plains forest type biome right there. It's kind of funny though. Maybe that like river's edge type where it's like not really water, but still kind of technically river biome, but it's really not. Let's see anything over there. Do I see a big guy? Is that what I see? Ooh. 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 You have 45. I'm kind of tempted to battle him. Um, maybe I'll take an eye up in the sky real quick. No, it's daytime. Let's see if we can get that big on to spawn. I want the big on. Then again, maybe they're not even time based. I don't know. It's just weird because we didn't find any big ons. And so it was nighttime. So, uh, let's see if we can find one now. We'll just fly over like all the red desert areas. That's probably the best place to try to get them to spawn. Um, so let's probably, oh yeah, over here for sure. Oh yeah. All right, come on now. So you got Shuckle. Uh, there's got to be a few. Come on now. Come on now. Give me that big on. Give me that big on. Got a Marowak. Give me the big on. You can't you can't hide it from me. You got to give me the big on, man. Just give me a giant blue thing. That's all it is. Well, giant blue and like white. Rhyhorn. This is a little, a little uh, ridiculous here, Pixamon. Give me a pay, give me a big on. What the hell, man? Come on, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. A bunch of errands are spawning right there. I saw them. Uh, let's see. Ooh, there's a little bit of red desert here, but I like the part over there. I like that over there. I'm coming over there now, or going over there, whatever, you know, English grammar and terms and proper English. Um, come on. Bunch of Rhyhorns, Braviary, Merka is exactly what that bird stands for. Ooh, an Onyx, that's cool. Come on. Come on. Come on, Pixelmon. Give me the Bagon. Give me the Bagon. I'm not leaving until I have the Bagon. At least until I find one. Like, I'm not leaving, man. You got, you got to give me the bagon. I'm not giving up on this. I want it. I want the bagon. Come on now. Come on now. Ooh, Braviary, what you doing, buddy? Come on now. Dude, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I don't want to run up so freaking high in the time. This is, I don't I don't want to do that. It makes it more difficult. Oh no, come on. Come on, give me the big on. I really just want to find the big on. Smurgle, like come on now. You're gonna give me a smurgle and not a big on? You're gonna give me an agron, but not a big on? Like look at this, an agron just spawned right here. Come on, man. Pick some on, what are you doing? I don't wanna complain, but man, I really want the freaking big on. I really want him. <laughs> come on. Come on. He's got to be somewhere. I'm just going to sit right here. Oh, 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 I'll walk away from the cactus. How about that? That'd be a smart move. I'm just going to like wait in this area. Oh, here's that village actually I saw. Maybe it's a good excuse to go check it out. There's no bagons, dude. What the heck? Is there like a special spawn thing on them? Like, is, do they have a special, like, is it like dawn dusk only or something? That'd be weird too. I wonder if it is. Is it dawn dusk only? Soul rock. Come on. Dude, I don't want to. Come on now. How how far in the day are we? It's like noon. No. Well, all right. We'll check out. We'll check out this this village. And next episode, I'm kicking it off being here in this mesa, getting a bag on. Um, cause I don't think we can. Uh, Really take, I don't want to take too much more time because then I, I really run up in the episode. And I don't want to do that to you guys uh, unless you guys really want me to. But uh, that's up for you guys in the comment section. Make sure you guys uh, leave a comment on, the, um, on your fan statues if you so want them. And other than that, I think what we can do is go back home and we will do the statue for this episode. 
Um, and I think that's pretty much about it. Man, look at, jeez. All right, we are going to go home. We'll go home now. There we go. All right, we're home. We're gonna do this fan statue, and while I'm getting ready for that, guys, make sure you leave a like down below. It helps out a bunch of the series and my channel in general. If you guys really enjoy this series and every single episode, does mean a lot and helps out a bunch. All right, and today's statue is going to be here. Let me make sure I'm on the smallest thing because, oh man, I don't know if I can do this. Uh, today's statue is going to be a whale lord. I don't know how small this is going to be. It's probably still going to be huge. It is still huge. Oh my god. <laughs> what I think I can do. How about this? If I do Whalmer? Alright, Whalmer. We can at least do Whalmer. Forgive me, I can't do Whale Lord. Uh, maybe I build like a separate room uh, in between episodes and update it so maybe it's like Whale Lord and I just, I don't know. Because, oh my god. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. But thank you very much. And this Whale Lord is going to be Fish da Fish. Thank you very much for watching the series. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry, I can't really do Whale Lord unless I kind of like build out and do a separate room here. So maybe I'll do that if I have some time. But uh, other than that, there's your Whale Mer uh, asterisk Whale Lord. Uh, and that's going to be that for today's statue. And make sure you guys, if you haven't done one yet, make sure you leave a comment down below with your favorite Pokemon. And you'll be uh, having a chance to get a fan statue for the next episode. And I think that's it. Gonna that's about it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like down below. It helps out a bunch, like I said. And that's gonna be it. So once again, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.